Hello, in this video we're going to be unboxing the Doro Liberto 825. This is the latest Android smartphone from the Swedish firm. If you're not familiar with Doro, they have traditionally spent their time creating mobile devices for seniors, basically engineering the phones to be simpler to use for those perhaps less of fay with technology. But over the last few years they've been um, expanding that range of feature phones into smartphones. We've had the 820, the 810, the 820 mini, and now now we have the 825, which is the latest and greatest. Now, if you're into your techs and your late, latest hardware, the 825 isn't going to be getting uh, you all un hot under the collar. It's designed to be a functional smartphone with some great features. Now, whilst it's aimed more at the senior market, there are some great features on here for someone who just wants a no-nonsense, simple to use, mobile device with a touch screen but perhaps gets confused or doesn't need all of the advanced features of some of these ones we see online or in the high street stores so without further ado let's show you around the product so the 825 uh, is their flagship product you can see it here sat in a dock which you do get in the box it's an android powered handset with a micro sim card it's got 4g connectivity wi-fi gps um, so it's got what you need to get up and communicating. If we open it up, here's the phone. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Now this is a pre-production sample, so the box contents may change come the final um, model, but this would usually include some sort of documentation, but it's uh, empty here in this particular case. We've got a set of in-ear headphones with 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to the phone and an inline microphone, so for hands-free calling. We get provided with a USB cable, so that's to go into the mains adapter or into a computer for charging. And at the other end, you've got the micro USB connection which goes into the handset itself. A nice touch here is they've got a nice recessed dimple um, on the connector here, so you can easily tell with the two ridges, uh, if you can just see that there, so your finger can feel that this is the top and the correct way to go into uh, the micro USB port. It's simple touches like that that make it easier for people with hard of sight uh, to be able to feel and know that that's the right way to connect the cable. We've of course got the battery, so it's a removable battery here on the 825, 2000 milliamp hour battery. Now this is an EU mains adapter provided here, but uh, if you buy this from Clove, you will get a three pin UK mains adapter here uh, in the UK. And then lastly, what you get included is a charging dock. So this is a nice solid piece that sits on the desktop. We've got rubber all on the bottom to stop it slipping. On the back, we've got the micro USB connection. So the idea here is that you actually connect the provided micro USB cable to the back of the dock like so. Then you'd connect the mains power adapter to that. You'd sit it on a desktop and then you'd get the phone, which we'll bring in now. Take this out of the packaging. And you sit it in the dock like that. And that is how you then charge the handset, nice and simple. No fiddling about with cables, you can dock it in and out and that'll keep it charged. You'll see your notifications on screen, but nice and easy for someone um, who perhaps doesn't want to fiddle about with the cable and things like that. So that's the dock, but let's get back to the phone because that's probably what you're slightly more interested in. So if we peel off the protector here, on the front, we've got a five inch touchscreen display. It's a 720p resolution, so it's not full HD. It's perfectly functional. We've got three physical buttons down here at the bottom. We've got the running apps key, the home key, and the back button. You can see we've got a microphone. On the bottom here, we've got the micro USB uh, connector for charging. You can see nice sort of indicators here. So it actually shows that this is the charging connection. So for someone who's not so FA, they know that's uh, where the cable goes. On the right side of the device, we've got the volume up and down keys. We've got a power button and we've got a physical camera button here. You can see how we've got icons next to them and you've got uh, little ridges on them so you can actually feel um, each button as well. On the top, you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to use the supplied headphones, or of course you could use your own. And then on the left side, we've just got these three connectors and that's for the actual charging dock that we've just shown you. 
if we flip the phone over on the back we've got the camera it's an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash records at 720p here we've got an SOS button um, so in an emergency you can press and hold on this and it will um, communicate with your contacts that you've programmed into the handset to let them know that um, you're in an emergency you need assistance you've got the Doro logo down here and then you've got a loudspeaker which outputs around about 83 decibels If we pull off the back cover we have got the micro SD memory card slot you've got eight gigabytes of internal storage but you can expand it here with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and you've got your sim card slot and then you've got the battery compartment so if we actually pop in the supplied 2000 milliamp hour battery that sits in there the cover goes back on like so you clip it in place and then we're ready to go so we're going to press and hold the power button on here to start it up so it is an android smartphone but it's sort of been customized by doro to be uh, nice and easy to use full 4g connectivity so um, as things go it's a, a fully featured phone in that respect there's there's not much to limit it but you don't have there you go you can hear how loud it is because you've got 4G, you've got those connectivity options with wireless and Bluetooth as well, but it's, it's just not going to have um, some of the higher hardware specs in terms of processing speed and RAM that some people may um, desire of a smartphone. But for most people, this is going to work perfectly um, well. So it's just powering up, and in a moment we can take you through the setup. So on this handset, once it's all set up, you'll be able to add all your email accounts, you can do your text messages, your phone calls, web browsing, your social media. You've got all of that functionality that you'd expect of an Android handset or a modern smartphone. It's just packaged slightly differently to uh, what you may be used to. So now we are here at the setup screen, and this is one of the big features that makes the Doro stand out. Not all of us are au okay fait with technology and need a little bit of assistance or because we're not sure. So the big feature they're really playing on here is how easy this is to set up even if you're a first time user. So it's telling you that there's no SIM card in the phone, which we know is correct. You've got the option up here to actually change your language and you've got a whole array of different languages. We can skip this step, see how big this button is actually on screen. So you can go back to this screen here. We've got the physical buttons that we can use as well if we want. So you could find out more about the fact that we need to insert the SIM card, we can confirm, and then we can skip on to the next step. It's now gonna take us through some simple questions to get us set up. So is this the first time you're using a smartphone? Yes, I'm a beginner, no, I've already used one. Well, of course this is gonna depend on you, but I'm just gonna go through, yes, I'm a beginner. I'm not gonna go through every step, but just to give you an idea of how good this process is. So it's actually going to um, teach you that you can actually scroll up and down the screen. So I'd like to try that here. So it explains how to do it. And there you go, you can actually try that. And then you go thanks and you go back. And then you can show things here. So now we've got something really useful which is the text size. and. Um, Without wishing to make stereotypes, the older generation may find it harder to actually see certain text on screen. So um, you can say the text is a little bit small and it's actually increasing it. Um, you can press that again and it's making it uh, even bigger and you can go, okay, it's fine. So once you've confirmed that, you can then go back using the button here so it's actually showing you how to use all of these different features, um, which I think is incredibly powerful um, if this is the first time you're using a smartphone. So like I said, I'm not going to go through all of this um, for you now. So I'm going to actually skip back out of it and get you through to the main phone. OK, with the phone now fully uh, sort of set up, we can actually begin using it. And you can see how the interface here is quite different to most other Android phones. Nice, big, really clear icon. So we've got the call icon here. Press it once. 
and see how the menus are really quite different to most other phones. And it makes everything really simple. So you can go a specific number, earlier calls, a contact that you may have. We haven't actually saved any contacts. You have quick buttons for things like your voicemail. When it comes to viewing, what do you want to view? Your messages, your call log, your pictures and videos, your emails, your calendar. See how it all makes sense. What it's trying to do is take away some of the mystery that uh, may be encountered for some users and try and make it a little bit more logical um, for most people. So you've got send, you know, and you've got the different things that you wish to send, an email, a picture, a video, a music file, a recorded sound. Now, it's not actually limiting you in what you can do, it's just the way in which you interact with these things. You've got your uh, folders here. So you've got two pages to your folders, so you can still um, have that sort of setup. You've got your apps drawer here in this what, a folder called apps. You can add certain ones here. You can then click the button up from the bottom and you've got more op options. So search, you can add things, you can take a picture, you can discover, you listen, you can go into set, which you know is to set alarms, set your internet connection, your home screen, accessibility options. We can scroll down from the top, which is traditional with Android, but you've got these nice big buttons as toggles. So for different things such as airplane mode and torch, you don't have to tap them like you would in normal Android. You click on the toggle and it activates the different mode. We can click the spanner icon to go into um, some more of the settings. And we can go down further. So here a system option and you've got more and more options. And it's not until you get to the bit for advanced settings that you drop back into uh, traditional Android as uh, you or I might um, know it or if you haven't seen it before, this is what more uh, traditional Android would look like. Now you can switch off these features um, from Doro, but that kind of it goes against the point um, of having this phone in many respects. So you can see how this Doro uh, 825 has been engineered to be simple and easy to use. You've still got access to things like the Play Store. And unfortunately, whilst we haven't set it up on here, that's where some of these things fall down. Doro have made lots of effort here, but when you go into Play Store, you revert back to the more traditional sort of Google setup. Now, if you're a user of this or planning to give this phone to someone who starts to delve into the Play Store, they're probably going to be slightly more comfortable in terms of what they're doing, but the um, software and tweaks for those with uh, limited sight or hearing is only as good as um, Doro can keep control over and what they have done is absolutely fantastic. So that's a quick look at the Doro Liberto 825. Be sure to check out blog.clove.co.uk where we'll have a full hands-on review and also visit clove.co.uk where you'll we'll be able to pick this up SIM-free uh, for you to pop in any SIM card and use it on your mobile network. But thanks for watching.